Hey there guys, this is Don from Pronatech. Today's video I'm going to show you uh, two new helmets that I got from Yeswalder to do a review on. And these are both uh, custom helmets done with graphics from Atomic Dice. Uh, it's one of the collaborations they've been doing with uh, welding helmets to make them more custom and more cool looking. Uh, I think they're really cool looking helmets. Uh, this one looks more like a uh, Viking helmet with horns and this one looks more like a dragon with uh, multiple eyes and teeth all around. I don't know, I just think it makes them uh, more interesting and a lot more, uh, you know, cool to wear while you're welding. Just makes, you know, change it up a little bit. I think they're cool. Anyway, what really matters is how these helmets perform. Looks are cool, but if they don't perform well, what good is that? So I took both of these, I've had them for a couple weeks and I've been welding with them. And so I'll go through the differences. This is the uh, Q800 series and this is the M800 series. This one has uh, external for the darkening or the darkness of the uh, shield while you're welding. And the other uh, settings are all on the inside of the uh, helmet. So your sensitivity and your delay and your grind, cut, or weld setting are, are all on the internal on this one. This one does have a panoramic view. It does have windows on the side that are slightly darkened. And then it has the main screen that is the automatic darkening uh, on the inside center. Uh, this does have an outside shield that covers the entire area, protects all three screens. This one has just the main screen on the front and it does have an outer screen that does protect uh, the actual darkening screen. Both of these, well, uh, these helmets come with uh, two extra front shields and one extra inner shield cover so that if you get it scratched or whatever over time, you know, you tend to get dings and scratches, you can replace it without having to order them. So that's a really nice feature. The, this one is known as the Aggressor. This one is known as the Berserker. They're both uh, custom designed by Atomic Dice and they have his name down the side. Uh, he's a uh, graphic artist that they've been working with and it kind of has some uh, Viking runes on the side on the top, it's meant to look like a Viking war helmet. It's got some pretty good graphics, I like it, some chains and some plates. The difference between this is that it has one main screen and it is a little bit bigger than the Q series. This is the M series 800. One of the things I really like about Yeswelder's helmets is that when it darkens you get to see more of a true color of what you're welding instead of that dark green that you did on a traditional welding helmet. Here in a few minutes I'm going to do some welding and I'll show you what the two different views are. Okay, so I'm going to run a couple of beads, one with each helmet, just to uh, show you it in action. And then I'm going to show you a view of, with the true view or true color uh, Yes Welder lens. And then I'll show you the second version with the old style green uh, standard welding type helmet. Uh, what I want you to do is look real close at the area ahead and on both sides of the weld, how clear and, and bright you can see as you're welding. And then as we transition over to the older green style, look at how much difference in brightness you get uh, compared to the true view helmet. You'll see how much darker. There is a little bit of green flare at the beginning of this, but you'll notice that by the middle here when it cleans up, you can see the light and how um, darker it is around the weld, especially ahead of the gun. And if you go back and you look at the original, uh, the true view or true color of the Yes Welder, you'll see how much uh, brighter the first one is. So now I just want to show you a view of both helmets. Uh, just a little 360 here to show you the uh, aggressor helmet from all angles. That way you can get a view of all the really cool graphics on it. And then I'm going to show you the same thing of the uh, Berserker helmet. That way you can get a view of both sides. 
Both of these are really cool looking helmets. I think, uh, I think the graphics uh, came out really nice. All right, one of the things I'd like to mention also is that the uh, headsets that these come with are extremely comfortable. Uh, one of the nice things that I like about it is uh, they have padding on the front, on your brow, and also padding on the back, uh, for the back of your head. So that's some, one of the things I really like about this is how comfortable the headsets are. Uh, they're very adjustable, they have a good ratchet, and I've never had it come loose. I really like them. They hold place, they don't wear out. I've been using uh, a version of this, the plain version, uh, without the graphics for over a year now, and uh, I love it. I haven't had any problems with it, and I don't think I could go back to a regular welding helmet with a green lens after welding with the true color for so long. I really like uh, both of these. They're both uh, 800 series, so I believe the internals are the same. They come with spare batteries, spare lenses, and uh, shields to protect everything. I would like to say that it does also come with um, a really nice bag, both of them. It's kind of like a microfiber on the inside that protects the lenses so that you can keep your um, helmet nice for a long time. Mine I've had it for over a year and I still, I've only had the one original lens. I haven't switched the lens out because I keep it in my bag and it keeps it nice and, and scratch free and dust free. So I don't get a bunch of dust all over my um, inner or outer lenses when I am put it away in the shop. The two uh, helmets, I'd have to say, after welding with both of them here for a little while, I think the internals are all the same. I really like the fact that this one has adjustability for everything on the outside. That makes things a little bit quicker. Uh, and I really like the bigger lens on the Berserker. It's a, uh, it's a really high quality lens. I like how slim it is and it fits up um, alongside my head really nice. Um, I don't have a very big head, so I wear about a medium hat. So one of the things I did notice is that this, this hugs up pretty close to me on the side of my head. So if you, you know, if you have a, you know, a large or extra large size hat wear, um, I would probably go with the wraparound helmet because uh, this one is a little bit wider on its uh, profile. And so I really feel like this has a lot more room for a guy with, you know, a larger head. Uh, so th there's really not much difference between these two. They function exactly the same. The only difference is really, you know, if you like the graphics better or a little bit slimmer helmet or if you want a big, wider, more wraparound view. This one um, has the adjustments on the inside, so you do have to take it off your head to, uh, to adjust the sensitivity or switch it from cut, grind, or weld. Uh, both of the helmets, I'd have to say, I, I really like. Quality-wise, I, I think Yes Welder builds a really high-quality helmet. I've never had any problem. I have a few of my friends that have also bought these as well. They own Yes Welder welders and um, Yes Welder helmets because for what you get in the helmet, uh, for features compared to the cost of some of the bigger names uh, helmets, you get, uh, I think, a lot more value. You get a true color helmet with a really large view that doesn't cost you three or four hundred dollars. You know, for a hundred to a hundred and thirty dollars, you can get a really high quality helmet, uh, especially ones that have cool graphics and work really well. So. It's really up to you which one you like. If you want all your adjustments on the outside and a little bit slimmer um, helmet, go with the Berserker. If you want a more wraparound you know, view and have that panoramic view on the inside and, and are fine with just the uh, darkening adjustment on the outside, um, then go with the, uh, the wraparound. But I don't think you could go wrong with either one of these helmets. I think they're, uh, I think they're both great choices and they're very high quality. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next video.